Welcome everybody, my name is Altamar and we are going to be beginning a let's play of Neverwinter Nights Shadows of Undrintide. As you can see right there, that is the one we're going into. There's only two chapters in it, it's not as long as Neverwinter Nights, the primary game. I don't even think it's as long as Hordes of the Underdark to be honest, but we're going to start a brand new character for it. And I'm, I've been pondering what character I wanted to make for quite some time, but we are going to go with a human, because we're going to need it for the feats. And we're going to make him look something along the lines of that. Yeah. We're going to be sort of evil looking. Now, this is where I'm split on two things. I need to see something. Level 3 or higher spell casting. Not that one. Now I can't remember if... Uh, it's such a hard choice. I'm torn between making a bard red dragon disciple, because they look awesome. Or... It's a purple dragon knight. Oh, those are from Cormier or whatever. They're good at being paladin-y. We don't want to be paladin-y. Unless we want to be Dark Paladin-y. We have Blackguard. Or Blackguard. What do they get? Use Poison Smite. Good Dark Blessing. Bull Strength. Turn Undead. Sneak Attack. Eh. You know, I think I'm just going to be a Monk. That was my original other plan, so let's just go with that. Monks are very cool. Which means we need a new pitcher, actually. Uh, let's go back to the pitcher thing. We need to make ourselves look like a monk. Um, really, none of you. Whoa, he is way too friendly of a face. That's creepy. Um, there you go, you look sort of like a monk. A very robust monk. Maybe not that guy. How about you? No, you're definitely wizardy. Not so much monkey. You're more like a weapon master. No, 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 no. Yes, there's a monk. Perfect. He's gonna be lawful evil. Let's get 10 strength. We need a bunch of dexterity. We need a bunch of wisdom. We need some constitution. We need more wisdom. And we need more dexterity. We'll grab enough intelligence and charisma to not get mashed into the ground. And we'll grab a strength for one extra damage. It's not really worth it, is it? Oh well. It'll have to do. Our constitution sucks. Zero modifier. That's really bad. Hmm. Ah, we'll just... We'll wing it. Uh, we're going to configure our own monk. We want tumble for the armor class every five. We want Persuade, because it's just cool. We never use Parrying Blow or Parry, I think. Oh. Yeah, we have to select Parry Mode, which we're not going to do. Uh, we're going to grab Move Silently and Hide. And then we're also going to grab... Discipline. Okay. So, if we are to be automatically get a whole bunch of things for being a monk. We get cleave, we get evasion, we get flurry of the blows, we get improved unarmed strike, monk AC bonus, mount actions, which apparently is a thing. Quick to master is our human feet, extra feet, um, stunning fist, and weapon proficiency monk, which gives us clubs, daggers, hand axes, light crossbows, heavy crossbows, quarter staves, shurikens. Comma and slings. We're not going to use any of those. Do I need ambidexterity for fighting? I don't remember. If you need uh, ambidexterity and two weapon fighting for monks. 
Oh, that's something that I did not look up. I'll be right back. I'm going to find out for you before we go further into the game. Okay, I'm back. I figured out the feed system. Uh, we're going to go not to that, though. We need to go back to our human portrait's fine. Class is fine. Alignment? No. Abilities, that's what we wanted to go back to. We need more strength. And we're going to take less wisdom and less of the rest. So we're going to look something like that instead. Um, you can mix this up a tiny bit by knocking down Constitution 2 and putting one more into Strength for later on. But regardless, we're going we're gonna to want to survive a little bit longer. I forgot about that. We're going to get Tumble again. Persuade. You know what? We're not going to get moved silently or hide. We're not going to be still. Well, let's get it just in case. We might as well try and be stealthy. At the very least, we'll get the first hit. The rest of it's kind of worthless for us. Heal is good, but we'll deal with that later. Uh, we're not taking ambidexterity or two up in fighting. We are not going to be using commas. So really quickly, we're going to grab um, dodge. So good. Now, the other thing we can get is luck of heroes. All saving throws plus one is pretty damn useful. Um, the other thing we could possibly get is blind fight or blooded um, or toughness. Toughness is also extremely useful. We can't get weapon finesse yet, I don't think, so we're not going to worry about that. It's silver palm. Nope. Armor proficiency isn't going to do anything for us, and iron will and stuff, eh, it's just okay. I'm so tempted to take blind fight, but I think lucky heroes might help us out more in the beginning. Saving throws are pretty good. Mobility is also extremely good, though. We're going to take lucky heroes. I know that they get extremely high will sa or, uh, saving throws anyways, but let's make ourselves look a little more monkey. There we go. And we'll make your tattoo... Look like that. I'll make your hair color. You don't have hair. Let's make your tattoo color something bold. There we go. That's a weird head. I'm gonna get a different head. Your head tattoo doesn't change, does it? Okay. Let's just find you a different head. I didn't like that head, anyways. There we go. Straight up. Just a straight up beefy brawler looking dude. You don't have any hair, so it doesn't matter. Okay. Get Good enough. Them. Attack, I say. Let's go with dumb hero. Stand there. Crack <laughs> some head. Their time has come. There we go. That sounds Destroy good. Them all. His name is going to be Eltamar. Of the Silent. Cobra fist of the <laughs> Eltamar of the Cobra Kai. Nice. Good enough. Hilltop, one of many small villages that dot the most remote regions of the northern wildlands, known as the Silver Marches. Few would choose so cold and inhospitable land to make their home. Only those seeking a new life or to escape their past. It is in Hilltop that your mentor, Master Drogon, chose to settle after a lifetime of adventure. Here, he would pass on his knowledge to you and a select few others with promise. It is here that evil comes in the shadows, and behind it, a sinister purpose that will see your own promise either realized in full or extinguished forever. I was looking at the encoder during that, and it looks like it's extraordinarily loud. So I'm going to either... Actually, you know what? I'll just fix it on the encoder. Let's turn that down just a little, shall we? Because it looks like it was bouncing on like off the top end of the chart, so that was extremely loud. I'm sorry about that. It should be fixed now. 
Let's go to our footlocker. We got a mistress hand ring, which is... Allows us to teleport back if they're in mortal peril, but it needs a focus crystal. We only have one focus crystal. The sensor of readiness. It's only usable by the monk, and what does it do? When your opponent swings his weapon, don't be there for him to connect. This is the advice Drogon gave you before a, a usual or an unusual trial. You had to move through a room that had all sorts of swinging blades and jets of flame firing across. What does it do? After inhaling some smoke, you were taken back to the dan back to the dangerous room, and you dodged through without a single problem. A mist form or something like that. And we have a gurnal, and it says, "This is your journal, which chronicles your life at Drogon's Academy, from the day you set foot in the door to the last eve's entry. All of your experiences are contained within." One section of the journal talks about your interaction with the other apprentices. Xenos, the half-orc sorcerer, has superior attitude, has a superior attitude that rubs most of the other apprentices the wrong way. Dorna is a dro dwarven rogue who loves to incite arguments between Xanos and the third apprentice, Misha. Misha is the human paladin of Mistra, whose vision of the world is limited to black and white, with nothing in between. You are the fourth and senior apprentice, and Drogon has always had a respect for you and your abilities. Lately, Drogon has begun to seek new apprentices, as your term here has nearly reached completion. Your final examination will soon be upon you. He didn't train us very well. We're level one. It's not very good. Hello, everybody. Gather around. Tell me, surely you have heard how our dear Misha fared in her last test. What happened? I have had enough of your jibe, Xanos. You would have done no better. On the contrary, dear lady, I tend to do exactly what Master Drogon asks me to do. If he says to rescue the goblin child, then I rescue the goblin child. It is not so difficult. I like him already. I somehow doubt Master Drogon would ask you to rescue anything that he didn't expect you to rob first. Well played. <laughs> you are the aspiring thief amongst us, little Dorna, not I. But a goblin is an evil creature, child or no. How can I be expected to lend it aid? It was not a fair test of my abilities. Master Drogon wanted you to rescue a goblin? Why? Master Jorgen tests us all, Ultimar, so that we realize or we reach the potential we came to the school to achieve. Your tests are different than the rest of ours, naturally, but the goal is the same. Master Jorgen is a very wise man. They say he was a great adventurer before he retired. That's what I hope to benefit from, not his wisdom. I don't know. Perhaps there's a lesson in Master Jorgen's test that I have not yet considered. Maybe he was trying to teach you that paladins are merciful as well as righteous. You shame me with your wisdom, Eltamar. Of course you're correct. Of course I'm correct. It is no wonder that Master Drogon holds you in such high regard. Monk wisdom for the win. Bah, who cares how the dwarf regards them? I came here to learn what I can from him, and that's all. You are a fool, Xanos. You have obviously learned nothing. If such bootlicking makes one graduate faster, then I question the worth of Master Drogon's little school. Perhaps it is the school that questions your worth. Half work. Hmm. For a paladin, you have quite the mouth on you, little girl. Eltimar, I heard Master Drogon saying that your final test would be coming very soon. Do you think you're ready for it? I believe I am. You sound so confident. I wish I could say the same. I bet Master Drogon will take away Eltimar's ring for the final test. Haha. <laughs> no teleporting about for you. But Master Drogon gave us the rings to keep us safe. They've kept all of us from being killed during our training. And what better way to test if you are ready to leave the nest, eh? What do you think of that, Eltmar? Ready to lose your ring? I've never relied on that stupid ring anyway. Haha, <laughs> Xanos is weak of constitution and constantly in need of rescuing by the ring. That's why he values it so highly, I think. Shut up, little dwarf. I notice you no lack of focus crystals to power your precious ring. Better to say safe than sorry, I always say. Do you know what your final test will be, Eltmar? Has Master Drogon said anything to you? No, no he hasn't. I have no idea what my final test will be. I cannot wait until Master Drogon gives me my final test. Oh, I wish I was in your shoes. You failed your last test. For once I agree with the little girl. I came to Master Drogon to learn how to be an adventurer. I wish to adventure. True. I wish something exciting would happen here at Hilltop. Do you hear that? I do hear that. 
Oh, I have to use my ring? Oh, I have to equip it first. Hang on, guys, I'll get there. I'm coming. Oh, Big B's crushing hand. You're using like level 8 spells against kobolds. The special cobalt with the... Weirdly... Powerful daggered. Come on. Ooh, that was a bad hit. I would like to roll more than a two. That would be super good. It would appear that my teammates are much better than I am. Even flanking, I can't kill one. Yuck. Well, I'm gonna take the quartz, That's at it. least. The little beasts are all gone. Then I shall see to Drogon now. I can only imagine what they did to make him fall. Poison? I cannot tell the type. But I should be able to counter it with my magic. Hold on, good dwarf. I'll be down. Nope. Nothing? The poison resists? How can that be? This is no simple toxin these kobolds have used here. Should he use stone skin? How could they have acquired such a poison, I wonder? And why did they come all this way? Just to strike at Master Drogon. There must be an answer. Who are you to be, be demanding answers anyways? I find it more than a little suspicious that some helpful stranger would show up just as these little creatures attack, eh? How rude. This lady aids us without asking for anything in return, and you repay her with suspicion? Rude or not, I'd like an answer as well. You have remarkable timing, my lady. Of course you are suspicious. I would be as well if I were in your shoes. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Ayala Winspear. I have been following the tracks of these kobolds for almost two days now. I thought it odd they would range so far from their home caves in the nether mountains. I never imagined they would do something like this, however. As soon as I realized they were headed for Hilltop, I came as quickly as I could, but I was too late. Why were you following the kobolds to begin with? I was just passing through the area, to be perfectly honest. It's my responsibility to take notes of strange occurrences and investigate them, however. What do you mean it's your responsibility? I'm a harper, as is Drogon. Do you know what a harper is? Uh, someone who interferes in the business of others? That's a viewpoint born of ignorance. We Harpers band together to fight evil wherever it arises, even though some may call it meddling. I would, I'd like to call it meddling because I am evil. This naturally means the Harpers have many enemies. I suspect one of them is responsible for this attack. I hope I am wrong. I believe I can shed some light on that. His name is Drogon Drogonson. Master Drogon! Drogon, you live. Mistra be praised. It was the artifacts they were after. They're stolen. All four of them. I can do nothing. What is it with four items and you, Obsidian? There are four water Davian creatures. Now there's four artifacts. I thought as much. How could anyone have found out you even had them? This is terrible news. What artifacts are you talking about? When Drogon retired to Hilltop, the Harpers entrusted four dangerous artifacts to his care. We thought this remote area or this area remote enough that they would be safe. They were. I do not know how they were discovered. We will have to find out. Those artifacts are too powerful and dangerous to be left in unknown hands. I guess you'll be leaving then. Can't leave. Drogon will die unless I tend to this poison. The help I can offer is limited until he gets better. Altamar, my eldest student, it's up to you. It is vital that you find these items and bring them back. What? Aw, oh, man. 
I assume the Harpers will reward me handsomely if I help out. There are rewards beyond wealth, my boy. Only you can do this. You are needed. You must have the courage. This will be your final test. I know that you are ready. So much. So much relies on you. I know. You will not let me down. I cannot. Drogon? He's passed out from the pain. It is up to you then, Eltamar. As he said, you must recover these artifacts before they can be put to dangerous use. Can't the Harpers help? There are no others in this area that I know of, and even should I send word of what has happened, it would be too late before anyone could respond. No, it is truly up to you to find the artifacts, if they are going to be found at all. Your preparation is paramount at this point. If you need assistance, think of asking Dorna or Xanos to accompany you. The others can remain here and help guard the school. That would be me. I wish I could go with you, Ultimar. You are so lucky. And he will be luckier still to have the great Xanos by his side. Get over yourself, Xanos. Ultimar will pick whoever he picks. It will probably be someone he can stand. Yes, as I said, me. I like him. <laughs> There's bound to be some equipment here in the school which can help you. See if you can find some healing equipment, especially if you can't find potions, healing kits will have to do. As for the artifacts themselves, I can tell you what I know about them. If you wish, it's not much, but it might help. Beyond that, all that remains is to go out into Hilltop and follow the trail of the kobolds. It should not be difficult. Their passing will have been noticed, I am sure. I will help you as much as I can, but my first duty is to keep Drogon alive. Whatever this poison is inside of him, I intend to fight it. Well, I should go and get ready then. Excellent. I will tend to Drogon then. Return to me when you have discovered anything. <gasps> I'm going to take all the corpsey stuff. Drogon! I know you're on the ground, but do you have any magical items that you could just give me? I would really appreciate it. Some monk's outfit too. Looks like a leotard. Kinda does look like a leotard actually now that I look at it. Oh, well, that's what we're wearing now. We're not going to be using commas, so... I'm not going to worry about that. That's the divining pool. We're going to go back upstairs. Let's go see what's in these other footlockers. 101 Tales of Adventure. This is a storybook that recounts the adventures of many of Faerun's best known heroes. Jam, stains, and scribbles render some of the stories almost illegible, and many of the woodcut illustrations have been enhanced with strategically placed mustaches. Excellent. Let's grab the top. I know I'll take the rags, but mostly the spells. You know what? We'll take everything. Even the book. Nope. Including the book. I don't know who's that belonged to, but I'm taking it anyways. That was a mysterious one. Xenos is paranoid. Pray. Whatever gods you worship. At least you can hit boxes. Sounds like they're really hard though. There! I get flurry of blows right away. Oh no, don't 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 Is it activated or deactivated? There we go. It's gonna take us a bit, but we're gonna beat down this locker. Oh, the puppy's awake again. Which is good, because it's almost the end of the video anyways. Once we loot this upstairs, we're going to call it. First video of the series, I'm going to show you guys the puppy really quickly before pretty much bedtime. Thank you for your stuff, Xanos. You locking your chests. Oh, she just trusts me to walk right in. That's a practice sword. A damage penalty, plus two. Pass. I'll leave it there. It's probably not worth anything. That's my footlocker. And that's Dorna's footlocker. Guessing it's going to be locked as she's a thief. Figured as much. <laughs> Prepare to become one. I don't know if I can actually hit this thing. Oh, good, I can. Okay, flurry of blows it is. Had to make sure that I could still actually hit it. Yes, solid four damage. Good job. And now we play the waiting game. Inevitably, we will win the waiting game. Might take seven years, though. Sturdy box, and we're not very good monks. We're doing like five and four damage a hit. It's really, really bad. There we go. Eventually, we will be doing awesome damage, but that remains to be seen. So, that's going to be it for this video, I think. I'll just check downstairs really quickly if there's anything else. 
And then we will go... Or then I'll go get the dog. I'll make a quick video with the puppy. And then it'll be bedtime. Because it's late-ish. Oh, it fell back asleep again. It caught up, drank some water, and then went right back to bed. That dog is sleeps more than he's awake, which is actually normal. They sleep for quite a long time. I don't know what all this meat is and all this fish. I wonder if I can sell it. I hope so. Otherwise, it's kind of worthless and I'm just picking it all up. I honestly don't remember what's good and bad in this particular game. But there's no healing supplies at all in this school. And we're going to head out into Hilltop. That's going to be the end of the video, guys. Like always, if you guys have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time for some more Neverwinter Nights or Pillar of Eternity Triple Crown playthrough goodness. Take care.